हेलो माय डी स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर मोर फ्री वीडियो लेक्चर्स एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल बटन फॉर नोटिफिकेशंस एंड विजिट आवर वेबसाइट टू परचेज फुल कोर्स हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू विश्व अकाडमी सो कंटिन्यू विद प्रीवियस टॉपिक लाइक वी विल बी हैविंग अ सेशन ऑफ स्टील स्ट्रक्चर सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द सेम सब्जेक्ट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दैट सो इन द लास्ट प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट types of steel so in this session as per the continuation of this session we are having two variations such that we have already discussed that carbon steel and one is alloy steel so in the continuation of the previous session we will be having a carbon steel is in the preparation of there num in saturation of number of types bars sectional sectional steel angles the last one we are going with respect to the plates so in this proposition we have discussed in the previous session that bars are accumulated with respect to your minimum of 6 mm to 64 mm and so on so in similar way we have discussed about the sectional steel that is nothing but we have an identification purpose with respect to your angular sections or plates or anything so in this case we are having a number of infiltrations like hollow solid channel and l and t so these are the main substrates that we have to use that we have used with respect to sectional steel coming to the angles we have a general type of angles that in general when we are seeing with respect to the proportion of how a, uh, the uh, steel is used with respect to the angles is nothing but we can see a channel of l or i section it is an angle with respect to this so we can see a angle which is intersected with respect to this or else if you are continuing with respect to this we have h shape or else if you want exactly proportion this is the formation that we are seeing other than that we can also see a w shape and s shape so these are the general types of angle that we are using in a regular formation so how that are existed with respect to, we can use this allocation of i so in this purpose with respect to the i i can use double angle double c nothing but we can also conclude with respect to two channel sections one is intersecting with respect to one to another so in this aspect so in this prospect we can go with respect to i section or else in the formation of this one we can also follow the any type one with respect to the addition of the plates with respect to your members so this can be happen with respect to number of illustration or angle that we are providing with respect to your theta it plays a major role where we are using so when we are going on an example of practical examples if you are going with the practical examples in railway stations and bridges we can see in general angles are used and in the same conversion we are having a plate elements or not thing but we can also go on the element of griders or else a solid membrane members or else will be forming in that example if you are going with respect to this example when we are going with respect to we if else we are using in a steel structures steel structures will be using a slab like element like in place of slab we can cast a sheet of iron steel or else uh, sorry a steel member can be used with respect to a slab or else we can use in the pre engineering buildings also engineering building so this is a foremost thing that will be using with respect to a plate so in general we have consistency about four different types uh, four different types a bar 
it is nothing but we will be using in a rcc structure with the element of co combination of with uh, combination of the concrete a, it acts as a tensile member where concrete acts as a com compression member in that purpose we will be using a bar the sectional members will be using a hollow section solid channel and lnt like when you are going with respect to a sectional properties like l is a shape and p is a shape we can also go with respect to this if we if you are not proposing this one is not in angles we can also propose with respect to here l shape and t shape so l and t are most important if you are going with us for the angles so not at, uh, not only this we can also adopt with respect to the i section h h and w with respect to this so these are the general and where we can use exactly is nothing but coupling of the angles with respect to this so in the construction in the prospect of joints or else in the prospect of if else we want to couple a member for example i'll give you a solid member or as a beam is connected with respect to your angles so in this prospect we can go with respect to angles where indirectly we are substituting this one as an angles and this one is a solid halo or solid member so when we are going into carbon steel it are interrelated to one another so that one can uh, one uh, element of the section can be helpful to the other or else we will be interacting one on two depending upon the usation depending upon the load that is described or uh, prescribed on them so when generally in in practice plates are when when we are going with this for in practice we will be using a plates as an aluminum sheet or as a, a cast iron sheet so in in the prospect of if else as per the economical purpose when we uh, if it is not heavily loaded we will be using an aluminum sheet but whenever it is heavily loaded in place of slab or else when you are going with respect to structural steel or pre engineering buildings we will be followed with respect to your aspect of entire in in place of steel uh, sorry in place of a uh, slab we'll be using a, a galvanized sheet with respect to this so that is the major aspect if else you want an example we can go with respect to your gazette uh, gazette plates so this a uh, plate is nothing but we can also go with respect to gazette plate so gazette plates are the most important aspects and it can when we can go with respect to your best example and suitable example so allowing this one in the parameter of a carbon consistency these are the basic example that we can give other than this we can, how wells and what are the general phenomenon that we can study is nothing but if else we are going with respect to the properties individual property like individual property will have a bulk density of the carbon is nothing but if you are going individual property of a carbon steel if you are going with respect to the properties of the steel properties of carbon steel generally we will be going with respect to this a carbon steel because that are generally used in a construction pattern so if else we are going with respect to properties of the steel the first thing will be striking on our brains are nothing but bulk density so density is nothing but mass by volume we know it so in general we will be having a bulk density of 7850 kg per meter cube so that is what will be used illustrating with respect to this so most important as per the your bulk uh, density of your steel so we can go with respect to steel density so apart from the density what else we can find out is nothing but whenever you are going interestingly or else in the regular academic purpose also we will be finding out the engs modulus so that is prescribed with respect to 2 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square. So this is what will be having a general phenomenon about the property, and other than this, will be having a general equation. So if else we are going with respect to your modulability or 
with respect to your bulk modelers or bulk streams with respect to this so we'll be having g bulk stream or else we are going with respect to this so we are having e divided by 2 into 1 minus mu so this is the general phenomenon or a general value that are postponed with respect to that are saturated with respect to the state so other than that so if you are sorry it is plus sir it is newton per mm square so in general if you are going a saturation of condition with respect to your uh, a general phenomenon that will be following with respect to this is nothing but g uh, bulk density with respect to your shares, uh, Inks modulus with respect to bulk, uh, bulk density with respect to shear modulus we will be having uh, a general phenomenon will be following this one. So in place of if else we want a relation between Inks modulus and G or else uh, bulk density of your strain or modulus and modulus rigid to G. When we are going with respect to G we have a number of aspects with respect to G. So modular modular rigidity or bulk modulus with respect to rigidity. So in this convenience we can convert G equals to this. So these are the natural phenomena that will be followed with respect to your steep. So other than this property or other than this property we will be having a general phenomenon nothing but a specific gravity. So specific gravity of individual when we are going with respect to individual iron or carbon steel we will be having a specific gravity. Specific gravity. of carbon steel will be in exactly generalized with respect to 7.82 so that we have to remember that if else so specific gravity is nothing but when we are dividing this one with respect to this when we are dividing a modular density with respect to 1000 so that is what we can get it so if else we want any density with respect to that so specific gravity into 1000 will be getting a density so we have a relation between your specific gravity and a density such that we can easily follow with respect to this. But apart from this, it is for your carbon steel. If you are going with respect to in the same aspect when you are, we have an idea about that one, we have 7.2 as your cast iron that we have to remember as per point of gate. So he might be asking you depending upon the situations or depending upon the question we have to remember. So as above, we have discussed about the carbon steel, we have a general phenomenon about the specific gravity as 7.82 with respect to your carbon steel. When we are going with the same thing with respect to cast iron, we have a 7.2 that is a generally used with respect to our, our regularly format. So in place of if we are going with respect to uh, uh, wrong steel wrong iron sorry cast iron wrong iron wrong iron we have one uh, 7.138 so you have to remember that one a small deviation with respect to your uh, cast iron and a wrong iron if else you are going with a spig iron it is somewhat easy similar to your uh, cast iron so that is what the variation that will be used with respect to this but when we are going with the galvanized iron or else carbon iron will be uh, carbon galvanized iron or uh, carbon steel will be having a somewhat uh, specific gravity as a similar way when we are going into galvanized iron galvanized iron so in this part will be having 7.79 so that is what a specific gravity of your uh, galvanized iron with respect to the pig iron if you are going with respect to pig iron it is similarly as your cast iron so that is nothing but 7.2 so other than this are uh, nothing but we will be following depending upon the properties initial property so the other initial property if you are going with respect to the other initial property we will be having a next condition as the next similar property or else next generalized property we will be having as specific weight. So that is what will be uh, uh, that is what will be having a general equation set sorry. Uh, in case of other than the specific gravity if you are going in a regular phenomenon or regular 
format that we have to discuss is nothing but Poisson's ratio. Poisson's ratio is the most important with respect to this. So we will be having a Poisson's ratio with respect to a range of 0.3. So that is a general property that we have to discuss with respect to your Poisson's ratio as a property of the steel because he might be asking in your gate point of view any or any competitive examination if you are going with PC or PSUs or any IES. So apart from the Poisson's ratio we have a temperature variations also. So what is that temperature variations with respect to your thermal expansion coefficient of thermal expansion will be going with respect to alpha so uh, thermal coefficient of thermal expansion is nothing but 12 into 10 to the power of minus 3 cent per centigrade per degree centigrade that is what most important that we have to remember these are the two important aspects so other than this we'll be going in details of some finding out the weight how how the bars are situated how the members are situated depending on so after this we'll be discussing what is the weight So up coming for the next properties. So other than this, we'll be having a general properties that we have to discuss on the steel. So addition of this, if you are going, this one is an addition. So in general, if you are going with respect to addition of this elements, so in general, if you are writing the same thing with respect to your Poisson's ratio, Poisson's ratio, we are having in the range of 0.3 usually. And the other one, when we are going with respect to your thermal expansion, Thermal expansion will be generally denoted with respect to alpha, so that is what we are taking 12 into 10 to the power of minus 3 degrees per centigrade. If you are going the extended end of this one is nothing but specific heat. If we are going with somewhat extension term, we have a specific heat as 0 0.046 into 10 to the power of 3. So that is what we have to remember with respect to your specific heat. So in general, we'll be having 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.046 into 10 to the power of 3 degree centigrade. So that is what we'll be having with respect to specific heat. So apart from the characteristics or any other, if you are going in detail about exactly steel or member, we are having a property a property variation about the steel. So what is that property variation with respect to the steel, and what type of steel that we have to use in a general construction so in general in a market or else whatever we feel of uh, we will be feeling that we will be having a mild steel we will be having a variation with respect to mild steel and here h y s b it is generally called as abbreviated as h y s b nothing but 
हाई ईल्ड स्ट्रेंथन बार्स सो दिस इज नथिंग बट हाई ईल्ड स्ट्रेंथ डिफॉर्मेशन बार्स इज नथिंग बट यूजली विल बी फाइंडिंग आउट स्ट्रेंथ डिफॉर्मेशन बार्स deformation but so this is what will be abbreviating with respect to this hysd what is the high mild steel and what is that hysd in general if you are going with respect to here mild steel will be for formulating fy equals to 250 gray so we have a mild steel with respect to 250 and 350 range in general the major accumulation or major use of this Mild steel will be using with respect to your 250 grade. So what is exactly 250 is nothing but after the insaturating the strength of this one, the characteristic strength of that steel is nothing but 250 newton per mm square. So in that a sensors will be having the 250 mega pascals or generally in general will be calling us 250 mega pascals. If else we are going with respect to HYST, we are having Fe. Four one five as a, a initial element that we'll be using with respect to that. And the next one we'll be using Fe five hundred, Fe five hundred, and later on we have described with respect to Fe five fifty the high strength. And now in the present scenarios we are using Fe six hundred also, depending upon. the elemental sources or depending upon the standardization of the building that we are constructing so we are also we are insufficiently we are using fe 550 as well as 600 so this is what in general how the steel is characterized so usually steel is characterized between your mild steel as well as hyst so in general the uh, fa mild steel is characterized with respect to your characteristic strength of steel that characteristic fi is nothing but characteristic strength of e with respect to that e is proportional with respect to 250 mega pascal that we are having with respect to 250 newton per mm square in that characterization with respect to that so in general if else we are going with respect to further classification about that we are having a mild steel when we are going with hyst we are have further classification with respect to this so uh, characteristic strength of your high performulated steel is defined with respect to fe so yield strength of the yield strength of the steel is given by f e 415 fe 500 fe 550 fe 600 in general in the standardization view or with respect to a construction aspect presently this synonyms will is used presently we are using with respect to 550 as well as 600 in the market so what these bars are called as All bars are called as. These bars are called as. Are also called as. In general, we will be calling as TMT bars. Torch tensile torch uh, mechanized torsion bars. Tensile mechanized torsion bars. Or usually will be having a TMT mass with respect to your bar. If you are seeing with respect to this a normal bar, it is twisted into the rings. If you are going with this for a practical example, or else the bar is in saturated in this way. If you are so you are going with any observation of the bar, we can see a twist, a threads on the bar. Those are nothing but tensile mechanized torsion bars. So. it is nothing but applying a tension with respect to a mechanism mechanism with respect to torsionally it is twisted so that such that it can apply it with respect to high load consistency we, due to the grippings we can high uh, we can have a better bonding between a con concrete with respect to the steel that is what we will be using a tmt bars as a saturation bar so these are your plain bars so this are the general aspect with respect to your plain bars 
will be using a plain bar as an mm or 6 mm or 4 mm but usually our market is available with respect to 6 mm diameter bar will be using a fe 250 in general if you are going with respect to mild steel a 8 mm mild steel is also available due to the aspect if else we are seeing a plain bar with this in this way without any torsion crippling or without any tunes on that it is nothing but your mild steel bar but in in a regularized format in the regularized phenomenon these parts are also tuned with respect to frictional damper so due to the frictional dampers if any necessary format we are going with the studio uh, these are also in a tuned position but regular practice we are we be seeing a plain bars and these bars are associated with pmt bars this is what a general uh, description that we will be adopting with respect to this so in place of if else we are going with respect to the subject of rcc or as any design manipulations we will be using in place of fi or fe we will be using a characteristic center of 415 500 550 or 600 if else it is a plain bar of if else we are using uh, mild steel bar will be using 250 in general this is not applicable in the practical application so that is that is what we will be using 250 under regular aspect so uh, uh, this is a regular properties with respect to your steel then we'll go with respect to your how to characterize the weight and of each bar and how that can be associated so coming to the next aspects about your bars and steel so how well we can associate or how deviationally we can see or where the steel is associated with respect to different fields or what and now we'll be seeing with respect to your construction technology or else any type of construction sources so in characterizing the sources in the characterizing the sources we want the weight of weight of steel in general we will be forming with respect to weight of bars so weight of steel how can be done with respect to that in general we will be having competitive examination so we will be following a regular technique or else regular question that as a thumb rule this is nothing but we'll be calling as a thumb rule depending upon this we can classify the weight of individual element so however we'll be describing in nothing but d square by 162.198 it is a nominal aspect into your length of the bar so how what is exactly d and what is exactly l is nothing but usually this is nothing but diameter of bar dia of individual bar so what are the diameters that are available in the market is nothing but already we have just just to discuss in the previous session that is nothing but we are having any minimum of 6 mm uh, to the aspect of 64 mm but that is in the range where we are using and what type of aspect that we are using and now now regularize with respect to length is nothing but l is nothing but your length of 
bar now in general with respect to your regular aspects coming to the regular aspects what is the length that is manufactured and sent to us we can see a bar with respect to your u shape when it is manufactured with respect to your and it is sent to our regular construction in the format of regular construction aspect we can see a u shape bar that is transported and sent to our houses so or else that i uh, with respect to the fields so what is this length if else we are calculating from here to here also we are calculating this length entirely what is that is nothing but in general we will be having 39 feet 11 inches or else in general will be having 40 feet this is what we have to remember as uh, for the gate point of you we have to go through it well so what is the length that is adoptable in the site market or in general or else in your ex point of interview also they might be asked uh, what is the length of each bar nothing but will be following the aspect as 40 meet uh, 40 feet so if you are going with if you are dividing that one with respect to 3.18 you can get the sense of what is that meters usually it will be 12 meters so aspect of that will be approximately approximately that will be in 12 meters so that is what the general phenomenon that will be getting from your uh, manufacturing sources so we cannot fix that how many bars are there with respect to one bundle but due to the weight substituents due to the weight substituent that we can easily weight we uh, that we easily calculate the bar member so what is that we are doing is nothing but if else we are taking an example example of 8 mm bars if else we are going with respect to example of 8 mm bars what is the weight of 8 mm bar is nothing but 8 square divided by 162 overall divide overall convert this one as 162 and then you can get it the weight with respect to the aspect of length so that is what the length with if else we are going with per unit length per meter if else we are going with respect per meter go with respect per meter or else if you are going with mm or go with respect if you are going with feet go with respect to feet according to the member we can have the situation of due to this so that is what we can finalize the member situation depending upon the sources so this is the uh, one of the thing that we have to remember according to this apart from this apart from this this regular sources what all that we have to require is nothing but we have to see that where the member is situated when, when we are going into construction material what is a regular phenomenon that that might be they, they might be asking the second phenomenon that we'll be doing is something but the first one we are for concentrating on the weight and the second one will be concentrating on the sources and what are the sources that are available with respect to the steel or nothing but previously it is the source is nothing but we are getting the entire construction field with is 800 2002 but presently it has an updated updated with IS 800 2016 sorry so this is what we are using with respect to this other than this will be having a steel table so these are the sources where we can find out regular sources of your steel so these are the regular sources that will be applying with respect, applying their uh, what are the functional aspects and what are the things that previously it is is 800 it is a code sir like code is 800 2002 but it has been updated in uh, is 800 2016 so that is what we are going with respect to limit state and serviceability conditions if you are going with the aspect of what is that the limit state and serviceability previously we have we have the friction with respect to this and going to the aspect of design we will be designing according to this so whenever we are going with respect to this we have fe and we will be allocating with respect to this so this is what my mild steel gives you where the bending friction if you are going with a stress strain diagram 
sir i will be having a sustained diagram with this pretty applica application of this one so we can see a higher range of the breaking point so we are having a point that we have to saturate on the condition so we are having a plastic limit upper yielding point lower yielding point permissible uh, yielding point upper yielding point lower permissibility limit and breaking so this is what we have to remember depending upon this we have a conditions that our factor of safety with respect to steel so remember partial factor of safety partial factor of safety will be having as 1.15 with respect to your steel or conditions when you are going with respect to bold condition that is from somewhat different if you are going the bold condition see one aspect we are having 1.1 and the other aspect will be having 1.15 with respect to your field condition with respect to your shop condition so here in general steel is saturated with respect to 1.15 so once dividing with respect to fe divided with 1.17 that is nothing but we are getting 0.87 fi so we are saturating entirely fi so that is what we are uh, condensating the format if else we are furtherly uh, gripping that one 0.87 fi divided with 1.15 it gives you a saturation of 0.67 fi so this is what the conditions will be doing but predominantly we are not using this we will be only saturating with 0.87 fi astbd so in that aspect we will be following the regular formulation so that we are having the exact saturation as your ast equals to 0.87 by fi into bd so that is what we will be generally finalizing with respect to the ast so in what is that ast is nothing but we are having area of steel so how the area of steel can be con con concentrated nothing but pi d square pi by 4 because it is a diameter pi d square pi by 4 d square into depending upon the range that will be following this is what area that will be following with respect to this and the area aspected with respect to your situation with respect to regularization so that is what will be following depending upon so in general we have a same formula with respect to here so ast divided by bd equals to 0.87 by fi this is the general categorization that we'll be dealing with here as per the uh, competitive exam point of view or any interview sources this is a regular phenomenon that will be used
so all this we have discussed about your bar member so coming to the carbon carbon steel we have a four different types of bar like uh, four different types we have completed discussion about the bars so what is that we will be doing on that bars or how we will be classifying the bars now coming to the next aspect we are having a sectional steel a sectional steel after that we'll be going to the angles and after that we'll be going to the plates so in general we'll be discussing all the three parameters at one time so that it will be familiar and how well how well we can inter intersect or interrelate with respect to each other so coming to the structural steel how it will be usually it depends upon the weight and the block what is that weight and what is that block is nothing but depending upon the sources for example i am going to the uh, uh, i am going to the construction of your parking shed if else i am going with respect to your example as your parking shed so i am taking an example so this is what an example so how will you generally construct it with respect to we will be having a four poles or a six poles depending upon your usation completion so this is what we'll be having a drawn back i'm taking a shot of this one to simplify this one we are we will be going only with respect to four such, such that it will be easier so okay so connecting this to connecting this to connecting this to so in general this this is the connection but when we are going to the shed somewhat it is extended so this is what my sheet will be elaborated nothing but will be going with galvanized sheet or else here aluminum plate or fabricated sheet so this is what will be associating with sheet and the members which are located will be either go with respect to hollow position or depending on the weight if you are going with respect to the other section if you are going with the example of hollow section i am going with respect to hollow section so what is that in general will be considering is nothing but a member with rectangle a member with respect to rectangle or a square or any other circular if else it is not in a proportionate format we'll be going a uh, circular so rectangular square or any circular if you are going a rectangle we'll be having in this position or else a circle if you are going with this so it might be block also in some circumstances we'll be having a block like element if the weight proportionate is more we'll be taking a perimeter as greater so this is what we will be finalizing with respect to this this portion will be hollow and when we are going with respect to this the portion it might be this one is hollow so in that circumstances we will be taking a circular like a block type element depending upon this so however we will be designing we will be design we have to go with respect to prospect of weight with adoption of length that is available in the market because the i cannot go randomly how it is prepared either i have to customize my design or go with respect to the available market available sizes that is present in the market so usually what is that length adopted in the market is nothing but we'll be having approximately as a standard deviation we'll be having 7 to 7.2 meters as a regular phenomenon of the height but in general on an average if you are going with respect to the phenomenon it is my highest one or else if you are going with respect to the maximum size of maximum length available in the market is nothing but this is my maximum so now on an average we have we have to go with respect to minimum and medium as well as low so minimum available in the market is minimum of 5.3 meters 
it is my minimum so on an average it is giving a with stand of 6. It is medium, or you can go with respect to average. So this is what will be generally finalizing. So as per the lens, sir, because we have to go with respect to either customized designs or with respect to your regularly available sizes in the market. So what is that exactly? Market is nothing but your available uh, available uh, material. Associated with us for the property. That is what the market because we'll be purchasing and selling out the sources. So available available sources in the market is nothing but 7.2 meters. It is a maximum height. If we are customizing depending upon the size, it will be elaborated, so or extended. In general, we'll be we can saturate the things of 6.5 average. If you are going with any size or any material or any propagation, or with respect to a regular phenomenon, sir. Regular phenomenon, minimum we can adopt 5.3 meters. So that is the length that is adopted with respect to your given figure. So then it is customized to my height, and then it will be fixed with respect to your plates. So coming to your plates, we'll be having your gauges depending upon the plate. We'll be go with respect to the gauge. so this is what will be going depending upon my regular format i'll be having gauge is nothing but proportionality of proportional proportionality c of weight it might be asked in the format of 0.2 gauge 4.6 depending upon 8.8 so if you are going with respect to the gauge gauges might be depending upon your sizes or else the thickness that is available in the market or else you can go with respect to your regular thickness okay so this is what will be finalizing depending upon the available sources so plates are categorized with respect to your gauge and the blocks are up, uh, adopted with respect to your perimeter available with respect to the weight and with respect to the length also because in the uh, in the availability because we have to go either with the customers as we have discussed uh, either with respect to customized conditions or else available sources so coming to the bars that are generally available and we cannot customize that depending upon the if we want to extend we have to go with respect to couplings so coupling of the bars when you are going with respect to members of this one if you want extend extend the bars either the two techniques are followed one is lap lapping will be formatted the second one will be coupling these are the regular phenomenon with respect what is exactly a lapping is nothing but one bar is encasted with respect to a bar of minimum l by 8 should be a coupling size nothing but a lapping size minimum of this one to get a straight to get a strength of your exact strength should be minimum of this one on an average you will be going with this if on an average we'll be going with respect to l by 6 is an average minimum that we have to provide on an average we can go with respect to l by 6 uh, also so depending upon the availability size then we'll be lapping this one or with respect to binding wire or with respect to the welding proportions also and coupling what is the coupling is nothing but a member is connected with a source there is a screw like element which is connected with respect to the sources I can give you some example if else a member which is connected in this source 
and it is connected with respect to this. So this type of element that is acting as a one member, but what is the probability that we are get? Uh, what is the advantages that we are getting is nothing. But here lapping we are going with L by 16 or L by uh, sorry, uh, sorry sir. Like when we are going with respect to the, on an average it is L by 16, and when we are going with respect to the minimum it is L by 20. Sorry. When we are going with respect to the other lapping construction, we'll be going, uh, we'll be going with different formats. But here we'll be having a uh, ratios of L by 20 as a minimum. At least an average will be providing L by 16 as a minimum provisions that should be adopted with length to length. If you are taking as 10 meters, so that is divided into 16 uh, elemental that should be adopted with respect to this. So better condition with respect to this. Here the coupling. There is no wastage of the material for lapping will be wasting this amount of uh, the extra member that should be adopted in the financial aspect or if we're going to the economical aspect this is not a double constable. So in this aspect of if uh, on the extension of that format we are using a coupling. So in general as for the material probability or as with respect to construction material what, what all we have to consider is nothing but length with respect to gauge as well as a coupling source bars are connected with this for this one and if else we are going with this for the plates plates are joined or extended joined or extended by three techniques we have a regular we have already discussed about this is nothing but one is with respect to your major description that we are discussing nothing but one is here bolted connection by bolted technique and now next one is rivet technique and the third one we'll be discussing on that is nothing but here welding technique so these are the regular phenomena that will be following with respect to this so it is not only plates it can go with respect to your sectional steel also sectional steel or angles here we can go with respect to sectional steel or angles or plates so this is what your different techniques adopting with respect to this so these are the regular phenomena that we are doing with respect to this. So according to your plate, uh, according to the bar, those are extended with respect to two different conditions. One is lapping, one is coupling. So coming to the lapping, we have four more techniques that if you are dividing your uh, entire element as a 20 different uh, L by 20, that L by 20 should be minimum considerable. If we if you are not considering minimum of L by 20, uh, for example, I will give you a small example. We have a 40 feet. If you are dividing 40 divided by 20, we are at least getting a 2 feet. So at least 2 feet should be incredible to attach that 40 feet element. If you are going with respect to 20 meters, sorry 20 feet, if you are attaching with 20, we are getting at least, at least 1 feet. So probability is we are getting at least one feet to overlap. If you are taking a 10 feet long bar that should be minimum lapped with one feet bar such that the strength can be accumulated. Or if you are going for the better strength, if you are going for the better strength, the minimum that uh, on an average we have to go with respect to L by 16 minimum. Uh, if you are not at, at least providing, sorry, if you are uh, Minimum to minimum, if you are going with respect to minimum strength, it is L by 20. If you want a better strength, we can go with respect to L by 16th ratio also, such that it can give a better strength, or that is what we can adopt this one. So, this is what your lapping condition and coupling is nothing but this is nothing but a couple, couple element. So, that is nothing but it acts as a crop that is adopting the two elements as a one nature where advantage
एडवांटेज इज देर नो लॉस ऑफ मेटीरियल here there is a loss of material but here there is no loss of material but giving the same strength according to the aspect that we are discussing so going with respect to the member of your structural steel angles and plates those are generally categorized with respect to your plate member plate at the gauge gauge is most important with respect to this that you have to remember so gauge is nothing but initial proportion of your weight such that we are going with respect to thickness that is adoptable so depending upon the thickness if you are going with respect to a regular example if you want in your daily aspects we can go with respect to wardrobes or almaras which are available in your regular homes we'll be going if you are lifting one in the previous almaras if you are going with ancestors almaras it has to be lifted by 8 to 10 people but now we are going with respect to one or two people because the gauge which are used with respect to that almaras is different the gauge which is used in the present generation is different that is what will be going adaptability of the material with respect to the gauge so that can be given with respect to your characterization thickness so sectional sectional steel or angles or plates can be extended if you are going with the extension purposes we are going with three different techniques one is bolt technique one is rivet technique and welding technique so that is already available uh, sir that is already you have studied about that is nothing but if else we are going bolt is nothing but attachment of the two elements with respect to your elemental sources we are adopt uh, we are giving extra source that should be added with respect to members so example if you want this is what my bolt section acts it acts as a element the same purpose if you are connecting with a screw as well as a jaw is nothing but it gives with respect to rivet and bolt and welding is nothing but a proportionality of a thickness that is modulated and that will be Weld it. So welding is generally are, are available in the sources. So this is what we'll be discussing. And then uh, thank you. We'll be discussing in the, in the next session with respect to uh, alloy of alloy steels or alloy carbonated steels.